All right, everybody, this is Sean Smith. It's uh, Monday night, August the 1st, 2022. I've asked uh, someone, an Uber driver, a private investigator, sort of speak, to uh, go over and make a video about my car. This car was stolen, basically conned from me by a person that was given a recommendation by his body shop owner today saying this great guy. He rented a place for me. Basically, his girlfriend stole my Note 10. Uh, he's destroyed the only new car I've ever had in my life. I'm pretty certain that the person I'm going to leave it to, uh, my cousin, will pay whatever amount it takes to convict this young guy to uh, pay restitution. And the reason he's going to have to pay so much restitution, is he, uh, he came over to pay some rent. And on a night when I was distressed about what I had done to my cousin about calling him out of his go-karts and his dreams, much more like my dad did. And so what this guy did when I was uh, extremely upset about my cousin and I was bawling is took advantage of the situation by offering to take my car to a body shop. That's the crime. It's not the fact that he hasn't paid my mom a month's rent. It's this guy took advantage of me when I was upset about my cousin, about how I ripped him off, the only person I've ever ripped off in my life. And so I'm sure my cousin will pay whatever amount it takes to make sure this guy goes to prison. Because the crime is he took away the only brand new car I've ever bought in my life that I was going to give to my daughter, who doesn't care. So now I'm going to give it to my cousin, but it's been destroyed. But this guy, Jesus, is very young, and he will have to be convicted of, of the criminal activities he did, which is taking advantage of an elderly person such as myself it's in her need and offering his services and he does nothing and he works at a body shop he did nothing except let his girlfriend run up i only put forty thousand miles on this car and it's a 2013 we're in 2022 in nine years his girlfriend put six thousand miles on this car and all my dreams are shattered because of shiva tamal con me i knew the only reason i brought these cars down here was for security because i know in corpus everyone look at this shop it even let anyone come in here and try to clean the rob you blind like joseph panacetti it would take days just to clean this up. You have to be able to trust someone to come up here in Joseph Panna City. Screwed me over in two hours. This little pudwa, Justin Kersey, last year didn't accomplish a single thing. I left him alone for 15 minutes to go to the get gas in the S2000 that belonged to me, but that my buddies ripped me off on. All he did was bad work. Leave behind a mess. This is what I made about, you know, about how I got ripped off by Bobby and Scotty Barbera. I had a plan for all this. Uh, Joseph Panna said he just threw my stuff away, threw my receipts away. He, he made false promises about all the work he could do. He's just a con man. He's a punk. Uh, the first person that ever came in and stole my uh, Circuit of the Americas where I was at with my cousin, uh, who wants to remain anonymous. Uh, we went to the Circuit of the Americas. He steals that, brings it back. Second person. Joseph steals from me. Jaime, the third person, steals from me. Old computer friend of mine. I bust him in the, dropped him in the grease, turn him in, got my money back. Fourth person would be Justin Kersey. That's about it. And then there's Vicente Antonio Garcia, known loser and just a piece of shit that when he doesn't get his way, calls up all my friends and says I don't pay him because he's a fucking scumbag, loser, and a drug addict who has his own needs, which are his daily need, daily needs for drugs. And so he refuses to admit the fact that he does every job he does is incomplete and no good because he'll always not finish the job right because of his daily needs for money or to get the car off the property when all he has to do is just clean up and get a fucking life and make money. But he's such a fucking loser. He's a paranoid schizophrenic who's addicted to drugs. He's an ASE, he owns S2000. He's just a fucking loser. He accused Stan Salazar of stealing the engine. And, and all this crap. And th that's why I stand if he was a fraud. So as Vicente Antonio Garcia said that Stan Salazar is a known thief. Stolen engine rips everybody off. What a con artist he is. Fucks your girlfriends. Blah, 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 blah. That's because Vicente Antonio Garcia is a paranoid schizophrenic because his parents are both fucking drug addicts. And, uh, you know, but his dad's a real nice guy, master mechanic. His dad's actually kind of cool but his mom's fucking crazier and a loon and Vicente's just a fucking inherited the paranoid schizophrenia and is just a fucking meth addict for his whole life much like Jennifer Lopez some slut that 
me and Craig banged back in the 80s for about two weeks. And that's the truth. And I look at this pathetic shop, all this money down the tubes. It's pathetic. All oh, this, this is why I cashed out my 401k to try to make something. Make a, you know, try to actually go into business for once. But then I've discovered, I thought, because you could pay people to do something. No, when you pay people to do something, they just rip you off. No one will do what you want. They just want to take advantage of you. No one's smart as me to do this, period. So I told Justin Kersey, you know, blow sunshine up your ass. This is going to be for the owners of uh, Craft Customs that think he's so great. He's terrible. He screws up all your stuff. He fucks up $10,000 body kits, fucks up wheels. The guy is incompetent. He's a loser. He sat right here and said, I don't owe him any money when he stole $1,000 from me. And that's the truth. That's the owner's uh, care. The owners of Craft Customs that have been waiting on this uh, email I'm supposed to send them. That Justin is a punk. He's a loser. He's a thief. And if you continue to hire him, I'm going to sue you. Okay? Just like I'm going to sue everybody else. There's no statute of limitations on what Shiva's done because the fraud hasn't been found on that $30,000 motor. That's why I won't sell anything to anyone. That would be Nathan Devlin or Chris Conway is because I cannot sell anything because it, uh, it all has to be written off this year. It's my last chance against my income and the potential value of it is what it could have made uh, of a loss that I can write off for income I'm receiving or not receiving in the future. If you don't understand that, it's tax laws are very complicated. Most of you pud pullers don't understand shit. You can't even fucking eat your way out of a paper bag. It's just like you can't even figure out what a fucking something is frozen up. Because your brains are frozen up. 